Jordan. And you see we got that Tadayo we just saw earlier, which um, I'm not going to make you guess. But do you remember how to read Tadayo. this word? Ooh, moyasu. Hi. How about the word right above it? Meaning it's it's like it's flaming up. Hi, it's burning. Roasting. Hi. Um, and then it's charcoal, which is seki. Uh, it's seki. Um, what does this burnt character mean? Seki mai, seki mi. Tan, seki tan. Seki tan. Hey. Seki tan. Charcoal burning. Hi hi. Um, do you know what smoke Moyasu. is in Japanese? Mm -hmm. It's a three syllable. Mm -hmm. Something matari, midari, modori. Does end with D. Ah. No. Uh, hey, hey, you know, something M. It had the letter M somewhere in there. It has Mu in there. Mu. Muri. Omuri? Yeah, Muri. Right. Kemuri. Right. Do you know yeah. how to read this Muri. word? Kemuri. Kemuri. Um, this word is do and then the slope. Saki do. Uh Good guess, good guess. Because this can be read as dull when it's married. However, saka is that first word right there. Is does not have a second reading, this um hill word. So this gay right here instead is pronounced as michi. Saka michi is a hill road. Saka michi. Saka michi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Shuna and saka michi. What is smoke again in Japanese? Ke mu ri. Ke mu ri. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Right, so Neburi wa chike ashi ori ashi dori no uh, sakamachi o kawa made. Orite ita. Neburi. Ah. Uh, um, he, he, ah, uh, kawamare. Orote ita. Orote is go down. Ita is from an iku. So he go down at the kawa, at the river. Um. He go down, he go down at, he go down, he arrive in a way. He he arrive at the river and the sloping, the hill road of the, the hill road of the uh, Suke Ashidori, the um, hangman street. No. What does um okay, so road... Neburi wa sakamichi o orite ita mean? He go down to the hill road. Is it to the, the hill road? So we have o as our particle. So we have a hill road. And the main character is going down it. However, the destination is not right. the hill road. That would be neat. Sak Sakamichi ni oriteita. I went down to the hill road. So right here, it's o because he's going through this, but it's not the destination. Then we have made. Hai. This made could be ni. Kawa ni oriteita means to go down to the river. It's using Hai. made. So basically... he goes down the hill. Hi. 
When does he stop going down the hill? Going down the hill. When he hits the river. Hi. Then the action going of down. going down stop. Perfect. So there's probably multiple sakamichis <laughs> in Tasogaregai. Probably ten thousands of sakamichi. Which michi does nobody go down? Tsuketashi dori. Perfect. The hangman dori. That's a good guess. So Tsuketashi hang- is a new street. Um, Kubi, Kubi Tsuri, um, dori was hangman street. Um, this one right here is like add on street, which is a really nonsensical um street name from Tsukedasu, which is to add on to something. Um, so you know a, what? Is an add on foot? Mm-mm. Um, it's just to add on. It has the ashi kanji oh, here, but it's pronounced it's... as ta. Uh, to be enough here. It's like the tasu, right? To be, yeah, to add, and then it's enough. To add to something. Okay. Add in is enough. Do you know what yobu means? To yobu is to call. Hi, to call. What is the call in Japanese? Like call. Yobu. Hi, hi, hi. Like taxi is... or yobu. So, so. Call the taxi. Uh, what is the negative form of yobu? To not call. Yobanai. Perfect. So let's not go read call. the line from the book. Kono kawa ni wa at the river. Namae ga aru no ka mo shirenai ga. Minna kawa toshiga toshika yuba yobanai. Um, the name is aru no ka mo shirenai. It probably have a name, maybe. Hi. But everyone uh, simply call it kawa or shika, yobu, meaning only shika is like, they just call it that and, and nothing else. This is super um, normal. Yobanai. Where I live, where the lake, we normally just call it the lake, right? So the like, lake. Rather than saying the name of the lake, you say, we're going yeah. to the lake because what other lake would we be talking about? Um, it does have a name. I, Most people know it, but you wouldn't say I'm going to the blank lake because you're a tourist. M- uh, Mani, can we can we go back to that I, sentence, I, 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 please? One guy. Um, so it's in the negative form. Yobanai is in the negative form. Yes, we're shika. Why do you think that is? Because we have shika here. Uh not nothing but this. Hi, hi, hi. Except for kawa, it's not called anything called else. nothing else. It's not called anything else, except for kawa. Hi. Wakata, I understand. Shika go with the negative form. It always does. You've seen this before. You just forgot it today. Yeah. You normally yeah, know I, it. I keep forgetting. Because <laughs> I think I, yeah. A lot of times um, in this I, book, we see shika I, nai, which is shika plus aru in nai form. So if something doesn't exist. So you might have had in your head as the word shikanai mm. rather than shika plus the verb aru, which is which is in negative form, which is nai. Uh, I think that's a common mm. mistake. So that uh, was nai is just the negative form of aru. Hi. Uh, do you know what a hashi is? Wakata. With this kanji. What is bridge. this hashi? Hi, bridge. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So your job is to remember hashi. that hashi this kanji is a bridge. Bridge. Hi, hi. Can you read this for me? I think the money, I think the reason why um they don't like the chopstick sticking hashi, onto hashi. the the rice bowl. Hi. Because the chopstick is hashi, right? And hashi also means the bridge, meaning the bridge to the underworld, like the bridge across to the other world. And then when you stick your your hashi onto the rice bowl, it looks like um like you praying for your dead loved ones. So it, it looks like you're doing like a ceremonial, um, like you're putting incense onto like a rice bowl or something like that. So it reminds I, people of of death and dying. So it's unpolite. Hi. 
Hashi. Kawani Hashi ga kakaru. There is a bridge over the river. Hi, yep. Kakaru is a new verb that I just threw at you because I didn't really want to say what it meant because it means lots of things. And that's what that means. Um, do you remember how to read this kanji? Yami. Perfect. Urayami. So Kaigan is the Makura opposite yami. shore. So if you have a river going on and you're standing ah, here, the muko is I a was... kaigan. Yeah? <laughs> Mani, you know, you know, I literally was thinking of this very concept <laughs> even from the previous slide. It's so weird. Because oh. when you were talking about it, I was literally thinking in my head in, in Buddhism, they had this idea of the other shore. Oh, go to the know. other shore. I think, I think they use more Across like the um, shikan. Sh sh shikan. Sh they, they do this word shikan? right here. Shikan. Oh. Uh, which has what shore. Does that mean? The other shore? I think this is um, like this world and the other world. One of them is shikan. And that and that's the only one I remember. But it does have oh. the kan from shore in it. Uh, but it they don't I don't think they use mm. tai for that specific version, which is to be opposed. Even though we do do that in English. I think they use a different kanji. Hey. Uh, I think Shigan is this world. However this but yeah. I see. No, it specifically though, I think the Tai Gan also had a meaning of like in Buddhist text, it means to become enlightened, Could to be, be awakened, is, I to haven't cross, read very much is to cross the shore. I... Yeah, pretty cool. It, it, I, I was just thinking of that on a previous I, slide, I, I, and I... then it came up, and I was kind of excited. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. Okay, let's go read this. Got... Uh, Hi. So it's Hashi no Taigan wa Sazogare. Gaida. Oh, this is so Buddhist. <laughs> Everything about it. <laughs> Everything about this sentence. Uh, so it's saying there is a uh, the bridge across the shore, the shore that is across from the bridge of the Twilight District. So the I have Twilight no District idea what you is just on the said. opposite shore. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> also got a guy. <laughs> the opposite yep. shore of the bridge Hi. is the twilight district. Hi. So it's kind of saying the where, where the bridge ends, in other words. Because you have a you have a bridge that connects two shores together. So the other shore that the bridge is on is Tasagaragai. So perfect. Um, this is a nonsensical name of something. So how do you think we read this name? This is a yami yohashi, I believe. You're right with the yami. And hashi is a good guess here, but hashi tends to get rendaku when it's married. So it's actually yami yo bashi. Yo bashi. All right. So what this is saying is that it is the shadow, but specifically the shadow of the evening. Good guess. The, it's the darkness the night fallen. bridge. Bridge of Dark Nights. The Darkness Night. Right? I, I, the Dark Night. The Yoru. The so yoru. it started with Yami and ended with Bashi. What was the sound in the middle? Yo. Hi, hi, hi. So let's go read yoru. the line from the book. Kawani wa Yami yoha yobashi ga kakari. Mm. At the river, there is a bridge called the Yami Yo Bashi over the river. And uh, Yashi no Taigan wa Akebo no Gaida. Akebo no is the dawn, the rising sun. So the street of the dawn is at the other side. The other shore of the bridge. So, guy here. Akebono. Um, what does Akebono guy mean? 
You're right that the first part is Don. The, dis the district. District. Hi. Perfect. Hi. I just think that's like an important distinction than what it was you said earlier, which I don't remember what it was. But I. Da -da -da. Hey, a guy. A district. So, so, so. Do you remember how to read this guy? It's it's funny because Ku, mm -hmm. Ku, like Ku is also a district, right? Like in Tokyo, they divide into Ku. Just. Hi. There's lots of ways some um, things are divided this in trick. Japanese, because the 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 things with like city planning is that things don't directly translate. Like when they talk about like a city, they don't uh, like like they talk about Tokyo as a city. They don't. They're actually more like referring to um a county. Would have been a more accurate translation of Tokyo because there's Tokyo City in Tokyo, and then there's also like Ikebukuro in Tokyo and Shinjuku in Tokyo. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Ikibukuro and Shinjuku are both in Tokyo. So that actually makes Tokyo into a county if we're talking about American, and the cities are Ikibukuro, Shinjuku, and also Tokyo. Kind of like how we have New York State and oh, New York City. So when you talk about like division things, right. we kind of like picky and choosy and do kind of nonsensical stuff for dividing up stuff because things don't get translated accurately <laughs> when things happen. Can we say it's, it's a county? If you actually think about what it is rather than a city. Uh, but um, that's the same thing with like the districts and dividing up things. So like Cho is another one like this, the split up into smaller cities and stuff. Um, it's based off of whatever thing in Japan they're using to divvy up their, their states, towns, counties or whatever, which it just follows different rules in every single country. So you can't really accurately like directly translate those because there's not like always a direct translation if you because they might have more divisions than we do in one or the other you know hmm. Wakara. Wakara. Yeah. Wakata. Yeah. Yeah. um guy okay what's this guy up here Sakamichi. Sakamichi. Perfect. Sakamichi. Nice. That's the only guy I want to check here. Any idea how to read this word? Uh, oh. Do. Oh, good do. guess. It's actually o onna. Do is a good guess, though. Sometimes mm, this o. will be pronounced with <laughs> o do. Um, but in this case, o onna. A lot of o's in there. You're right. Big woman. Okay. Uh, oh, so in no. this case, this guy is oh. oh no. Any idea how to read this word? But they say big. Uh, ichiretsu, itretsu. Hi, ichiretsu, which is in one row. I, iretsu. Uh, iretsu in one row. Ichi. When they say oh on a. Hi. Do they mean like physically large, or do they mean like she is someone of a high rank? Um, they're talking about a uh, physically large, like a giant. I see. Like um, so with this right here, you're trying to guess like the east, right? This this the small two versus big two is actually easily predictable in Japanese, in that the thing that comes afterwards must be voiceless, if it's going to be small two. So with that from that to it's impossible for this to to be a small to if you don't say eat that that was very it's very hard to say versus if it said uh ippon like that with a po po and ho are both voiceless like small to there's no vibrating going on in our um voice box so it's ichi that's it so it's, it just, with... so it's just a puff of air. Hi, hi, hi. Same with ta, pa, ka, pa, and ka. Uh, pa, ka, pa, ha. This is hard because you have to add the verbs. Ma is vibrating. Ma is vibrating. Hmm. So the only difference pa, between ka, P and B is vibration. Na, na. Your mouth and the amount of air coming out is exactly the same between P and ba. Ba, 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 ba. But ba is vibration. Right. But P 
is no vibration. Yep. Same oh, with this is so interesting. T and D and K and G, Kaga, Tada, S and Z, S and Z. There are the tongues in the same location. Uh, uh, just one's voice. Ta, ta, ta. Oh. So yeah, if you see voiceless yeah. and then a T, the T about 90% of the time will turn into a small T. So this is like, if, if it's like in a word, it's like a word formation rule. So like, hakken, for example, this this first kanji is hatu, then we have ken with a K, so it becomes hakken with a small two. Hi. So it's you'll, you'll see that voiceless, everywhere. Basically, it's got swallow up. It got swallow up into the voiceless consonant Hi. there. It did. This can't eats it up so that that's just a really fun rule it's very, it's a very useful rule to know because if you read if you're reading something with furigana the difference between a small two and a big two there is none <laughs> there's not room to be a difference yeah it's, it's hard to read especially when they laid it out in a in a vertical uh layout can't tell what is a small or big the the thing is if it's a if it's in furigana there is no difference they just there's, there's not room to make the Big two or small two in Furigana specifically. Uh, so you kind of just have to know the rule. Um, anyway, one row hi. was Ichi what? Retsu. Hi, hi. Ichi Retsu. And this is going to be our last line of the day. Hi. O ona tachi wa Ichi Retsu de Handa. But to line up is a tall, tall. Mm. I don't remember this reading. To line up is Yobanda? Yobu? Uh, no. Naranda ha from Narabu. From Narabu. Right. Narabu. Naranda. Naranda. Right. So the, the large ladies lined up. They line up in a row or in a line. Perfect. Yep, they all lined up in one line. Nice. So I'll stop recording. Um, any.